Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all happy and healthy. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Bluey. So today I'm actually going to talk to you about some or basically give you some tips on how to use your planner just a little bit more if you feel like you're not using it enough. So if that interests you and you would like to see that, I would hope that you would consider sticking around and subscribing. So let's jump straight into the video. So my first tip would be to have the choice between a planner cover. Um, now my preference is, of course I am obsessed, obsessed with this um, planner cover, but I do have my moods where I do change a little bit, where I'm just like, you know what, I'm not feeling this planner cover no more. I just, I wanna change. I want a bit of a difference when it comes to my planner. So I will show you a couple of the choices that I have and of course, you've seen them multiple times because I am, uh, uh, like I said, obsessed. I am obsessed. When I find a planner co cover that I love, you will just see it forever. Um, but currently, I am loving this planner. But other planner covers that I have that I do really love is this beautiful Kiki K. Um, I think it was called like the Lavender Planner or, or something. I don't know what it was called to be exact. But I do know that this was, oh, I've used this for so long. This has been in my life for years. And then I thought it was just, you know, a bit of time, a bit of time to um, change into something different. And, oh, can I just tell you, I am loving this planner. Like I said, it's got the Chanel vibes. And, oh, my God, <laughs> I can't believe I never, I didn't say this, but check out these nails. The, my nail lady done this for me. And, again, like I said, she is just absolutely amazing and I love her work. Um, she just, oh, she nails it every time. And I decided to go for a Chanel vibe this time and, oh, the planner is rubbing off on me and I'm loving it. <laughs> um, anyway, getting back to my, uh, what I'm trying to talk to you about. Um, but yeah, so we've got this beautiful pink planner that I do love to change in and out of. And then I do like to have this beautiful, nice brown leather. This is a Kiki K maple one. As you've heard in the past, I complain about the inside of the fact that it's blue. Um, just not a fan of it, but I reckon if they had a different color or, you know, just, just not blue, <laughs> I would have been okay with it. Um, but yeah, so I do like the fact of having different choices when it comes to the planner cover. Um, when well, just when I want to change um, in and out of the planner and just wanting to try something different. Um, another kind of tip when it kind of goes, sorry, I'm trying to move this stuff. Um, it kind of goes with the same, you know, planner cover. Now, if you are one of those people that just don't have a lot of money and just don't want to spend heaps of money on having multiple different kinds of planners or having so much clutter in your space and you are very minimalist um, when in that aspect, I would consider doing a lot of research and finding the like the ultimate planner of what you would see yourself living with for the rest of your life. And I can tell you, this is the best bargain and the best buy of my life. I just wish I found it sooner, to be honest. Um, I would have saved so much money. Um, this only cost me, I think it was either $20 or $25 um, through Marketplace on Facebook. Um, it's, it was just, oh, and oh, it, the pictures did not do it justice. Like they looked really good in the pictures, but then when I had it in my hands, I was like, oh my God, this is my life. <laughs> um, and I could definitely see myself in this planner for years to come. Um, I just hope it doesn't fall apart because I absolutely love this planner and yeah, so that's another reason or another tip for you. Uh, so to either have the choice of changing in and out of different covers or finding the ultimate planner that you love the most and couldn't see yourself living without, if that makes sense. <laughs> another tip I would suggest, I'm just gonna move this planner. I had her here for show just because I thought, well, why the hell not? She just looks so beautiful. And I, I don't really like to have her not in the shot because she just looks so damn gorgeous. <laughs> um, yeah, she's just 
She's my life. Okay, guys, you, you got to understand. You will know. Everyone will understand what I'm talking about when I say that when you find that planner, everything doesn't matter anymore. That planner is everything to you. It's the most amazing thing in your life and you couldn't live without it. Anyway, <laughs> um, so my next tip that I would suggest is to actually have planner accessories. Now, what I mean by that, I'm talking about like your sticky notes, your highlighters, um, a really good pen. Um, and I will show you just a couple of things. Just give me one second because I forgot to pull them out. Um, <laughs> So here it is, um, and that is to basically have a bunch of, I liked having, um, I like having a lot of these beautiful sticker notes. Um, I find that I do grab a lot of these most of the time when I'm planning. Um, you will see a lot of May Paper Co because I am obsessed with her store. I love it so much. Um, but yeah, so I, I think investing into good sticky notes um, is definitely worth it. I think my most favorite of all is these transparent ones. I just love the fact that you can actually see through the paper. It kind of gives it that little bit of a, what do you, uh, you know, art feature kind of textile look about it. I'm not sure how else to really say it, but definitely invest in some beautiful transparent sticky notes. Like I said, I've got damn near everything from her. She's released more and it's very hard to not buy more considering I don't really have the money to buy more, but I'm so tempted to just buy more because <laughs> um, I love them. But yeah, so I have a lot of the transparent sticky notes. I have a lot of the, the paper ones. These are really good, especially if you don't want it to be transparent. You kind of just want to use it. Uh, I'll show you an example. So I use these sometimes for writing down like this is my inbox area where I like to write down what, um, you know, what's happening or what needs to be done. And I check it off and make sure it's done kind of thing. Um, I use that for that area. And as you can see for the transparent sticky notes, it kind of draws your eye to go, oh, what's in that section? Now I put this sticky note here just to show me that this is the next, um, I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> Uh, so there's monthly here and then I don't have a divider that's in between. So I've basically put a sticky note there saying, okay, this is the start where weekly view is kind of thing. And it just goes on there. And then I have this little sticky note here to say, this is the month we're in right now. Um, but yeah, so uh, you can find a lot of var uh, variety from May Paper Co. when it comes to the sticky notes, which is awesome. Um, and then when it comes to, uh, like, you know, office works, they usually have some really good stuff there too. Um, I found these, uh, these are just gorgeous because it's rose gold and you can write on it. Um, I'll move those because I'm sure you've heard enough about sticky notes. Um, sticky notes are just great for putting in your planner. Um, as you just saw that you can place them in an area where it's, important actually I do have one I might have to block this out because this is kind of like my medical planner um, so as you can see we have a red tab here and that is basically in an area where it's an urgent matter that I need to talk to about the doctor or talk to the doctor about um, and I find that having I love having the red one because it just draws your attention straight to it um, whereas these ones, they're kind of just casual. Uh, you could use it in your planner. Um, I usually use these mainly for, you know, the things that aren't so, you know, extreme and important. Um, but I find that the red ones are amazing or you can use whatever color you want. It's really your choice, your planner, that kind of thing. Um, this works for me, but I just kind of wanted to show you that sticky notes are just perfect for planners because... I don't know, I feel like you use your planner a little bit more when you use sticky notes. Maybe because it gives it that fun little ex accessory looking um, accessory look in your planner. It's just, I don't know, it's just a great thing to have in your planner. <laughs> um, and then another accessory I would highly recommend is um, getting yourself a good highlighter. Now, I love these Tombow highlighters, or actually, 
they're not a highlighter to be honest these are actually an art brush or pen or something you, you color with them okay and then you've got the little tip on the end there these i use them for <laughs> i just use it as a highlighter because i love the fact that it's a neutral color and i love the neutral vibe lately i don't know why i keep saying that word i'm just I just keep saying that word a lot. Uh, but yeah, so neutral is definitely a color that I love this year. Um, and it's just, I don't know, I like the simplicity of it. It just looks so much nicer and so much neater. Um, but yeah, so I would recommend highlighters. Highlighters are great for everything. And I will show you an example of what that they look like. And that is, so basically, this is what I would do when it comes to a highlighting um, frenzy, I should say. Um, so when I get into uh, a day, like finish the day, I go ahead and highlight the things that I've actually done. And it just makes it easier to know what has been done, what needs to be done. And as you can see as well, I even use it as a little checkbox thing as well. It just... I don't know, I find it really appealing to the eye seeing something checked off and it's in like this beautiful nude color. It's just, I don't know. And then with the check boxes, the tick in it, it just, it just makes it look so much nicer. And I, I don't know why it just, it just does. So yeah, I would highly recommend a nice Tombow highlighter or if you can find a neutral highlighter through a different brand, by all means, go and get them. Um, it doesn't really necessarily have to be the most amazing brand in the world. You just, as long as it works and it do, does its job, you're fine. Um, so another accessory, I love using these so much that they are with me everywhere. Um, and I have multiple just duplicates of these pens. Um, so I, I really like these. They, do, they don't bleed through the, pa uh, the paper. Um, these, they don't smudge. They dry pretty quick. Um, so this is just an art line um, pen, 0 0.4. And it's just a fine tip. It's perfect for what I need. Um, and to me, it, it seems like I write a lot neater. Um, and for a permanent marker... Or permanent pen um, I chose the Sharpie one and it's fine tip as well it just looks really really good so that's what I would recommend for the um, or you know that's a tip that I would uh, say would work for me I mean it worked really well for me so that's this is why I kind of wanted to do this video because I found a lot of people asking how do you use your planner more can you help me with it um, so this is just like a few pointers of what I reckon and yeah, definitely try out all the accessories like that because accessories are a must when it comes to a planning system and it just works perfect for you to just be in it all the time and it makes you excited to go back into your planner. So another tip that I would recommend is to actually make your planner simple. So I'm going to show you, hoping this is in the shot. Um, so basically what I've done, I went from full on decorate every bit of space in my planner, which now that I look back on it, to me, it's just chaotic and I don't even know what I was thinking. I think I went insane, to be honest. <laughs> um, but they just make your planner simple. It's, it's, I don't know what it is, but this year I'm really loving the simplicity of it all. It's, it's basic. It's easy. And it just, it's very appealing to the eye when you just open up and it's like, oh my God, it's breathtaking. I love you. <laughs> I want to be in, in here all the time. And it just, I don't know, when you finally have it set up to the way you really, really like it, I find having it simple and easy and very direct to where things are, it's going to make your life so much easier. So I have calendar, which means has, it has the monthly and the weekly. I do, however, want to try and put a daily in there, but we'll see how that works. I might end up changing my mind, so I do that a lot. So easily, I, I look at this straight on the front. I have the inbox because I find that this is where I always usually go to to find out where my, um, like what my routines are for the day. 
uh, what needs to be done. Um, and then basically after that, I go, okay, this is calendar area. And because I'm just know this by the back of my hand now, I just go straight to today, which takes me straight to my month. As you can see, I haven't even done it yet. Um, I've only just recently um, started to get into it. I've been so busy this week. And yes, yeah, so this is what it would look like. And oh, it just looks so pretty. Look at that. Um, and then we would go straight to the weekly. Again, simple, easy. And it's just, it's there. It makes everything perfect and it looks so freaking good. Um, and that's what I love about it, it being so simple and easy to get to things. I know what I want. I know what I need to get to. And I go, okay, it's in this section. Boom, done. I know where it is. It's just... I find that when you have it simple and easy, it works so much better and you're not stressed and not going, oh, I just don't, I just don't want to deal with that right now. And I, once you find your rhythm, you're going to love it and you're just going to be in it all the time. And I guarantee you, if you make it simple like this, you're going to, you're going to definitely, you're going to live a much simpler life and it's going to make it so much easier for you. Um, but then again, this is just my opinion. It might not be for everyone. The simple look, you if you want to decorate it like crazy, go for it. So another tip that I would suggest is to actually have your inbox at the front. Now, I preferably like it at the front mainly because it's right there. It's as soon as you open your planner up, it's there. And you go, oh, okay, I have to get these things done. Um, and... I just feel like the inbox at the front is just, I feel like everyone needs this in their planner, like straight at the front. No, no, you know, in a divider area kind of thing. I find if you have it at the front, it makes your eye go straight to it and you go, oh no, I actually have to get this done. Why haven't I done it yet? Um, and I feel like if you have it there, you're just not going to forget um, so that's another tip that I would suggest and that is to yeah have your inbox at the front and then you can literally go through all the things that needs to be done for um, that day or that week um, and it just yeah I feel like this is something that everyone should definitely have in their front um, in the front of their planner because you, you'll never forget if um, if you have something written down on the front you're just gonna be like oh I need to get that done let's get that done so yeah I reckon I recommend an inbox in the front of your planner definitely worth having it there another tip that I would suggest is to actually have your planner in view now what I mean about this is you should definitely not put it away in the desk or somewhere that's actually gonna hide it from you because I feel like if you have it out of view it's just, you're not going to go to it. It's, it's, it's like that saying where people say, out of sight, out of mind. You don't want that with a planner. You want to make sure that it's in view. You want to make sure that you're going into it and that way you are on top of your things because once you lapse on it, you, it's going to take forever to try and get on top of again. Um, and I find that if you have your planner out um, in view, in sight, like I do, I always have it on my desk um, because well, one, I do love the look of it. <laughs> and two, it's, I know for a fact that I'm actually gonna go straight to it and go, oh, I need to check and see what needs to be done for the day. Have I missed anything for the day? Um, so I would definitely recommend keeping it in a space where you would see it pretty much all the time. <laughs> Now for the last tip, I would actually suggest make your dashboard inviting. So what I mean is that when you open your planner, you're going to go, oh, it doesn't look so great. It looks plain. It looks gross. I need to change it up. Or you're going to open it up and go, oh my God, this is amazing. Oh, I'm just going to have a bit of a flip, see what's happening in this planner it just looks so good well and then you just you kind of get into it it just makes it fun i feel like if you have a fun dashboard you're just gonna go oh <laughs> and go straight into it and then just start flipping because i can guarantee you this works because i do this i'm not even joking when i say that because the moment i see my planner i go oh my planner i want to go check her out and then I'll open her up and then I go, oh, again. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, I'm going to flip through you and 
it just it just escalates from there okay um a lot of you know that i'm a very excitable person <laughs> and i get excited at the most little things and i feel like if you have a dashboard that's inviting you're gonna get that little bit of spark of joy where you're just like oh oh this is so pretty and then it's gonna make you start to flip through your planner and see things that you probably should be doing um like your your um inbox so i keep this vellum not vellum is it it's acetate um at the front i was going to leave it at this and i'm like no it just looks boring i don't like it get it out um and then i place this over the top of it and i'm like oh okay this looks really pretty now i i will will manage we'll deal with it i i accept <laughs> um and i find that since doing that i now open my planner up and i'm like oh god damn you are gorgeous <laughs> i'm just one of those people that find that if it's decorated um in a, a perfect way to what i like i will use it constantly and never stop um and yeah so that's my last tip uh i would definitely recommend make your dashboard inviting um i mean i could even change this up i probably will i won't lie um where i'll have this at the front and maybe layer the acetate over the top of this and then have the uh, inbox underneath them. So that way it's kind of more inviting as well. Um, it really depends on how, I just realized this is already done. I just, um, I feel like the simpler it is, the perfect it is, or like the, the better it is, but not everyone is just like me. Everyone likes to have it where it's a bit more decorated, a bit more, flare <laughs> so that is it lovelies actually you know what? i was gonna close it and then i thought no i'll just leave her open she just looks so pretty right now just make sure that she's actually in shot that way you guys can see her so that is it lovelies i hope you all enjoyed this video and helped you in some way with how to use your planner just that little bit more um and i i really do hope that these tips help um or inspire you to find what is perfect for you, find your rhythm, you know, just play around with your planner until you get it exactly the way you want it. Because I guarantee you, you once you find it, you'll you'll be unstoppable and you're gonna be so in love with how you've ha, with the outcome of what you have for your planner. But yeah, so if you did like this, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe down below if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments below if you thought these tips were actually quite helpful and if you will use them um, because I would love to hear it. And thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch these videos. I really do appreciate it when I can help and give some kind of inspo to all you lovelies out there. And don't forget to be positive and give love. Bye. Ooh.